Hi everyone, I'm Jimena Valdez. I'm a lecturer in comparative politics at City University of London. And what you just saw was the abstract of my paper, The Politics of Uber. In this video, I wanted to talk briefly about the motivation and, and what my paper is about. So what motivated this paper is um, the realization that Uber worked in different ways across cities. So we're, we're used to thinking about Uber as a radical disruptor, a company that gets its way wherever it it went, but actually what I saw this was that Uber had adapted to different regulations across cities, and so it worked in different ways in different places. And so I developed a framework to understand the politics of platform firms and account for that variation in regulations. So in this paper, I move away from traditional conceptualizations of, of business power, such as structural and instrumental, and I draw on work in economics and law to show that uh, these firms have a specific type of power that is infrastructural power. Now, this power stems from their normal operation, uh, and it has to do with the specific position these firms occupy in the economy. These firms mediate between producers and consumers of goods, services, and information. And in this position, in this particular position as mediators, they create an ecosystem of actors that depend on them, right? And so that is the source of their power. So I advance our knowledge on infrastructural power by arguing that the power is shaped by pre-existing regulations and by the firm's response to those regulations that I call uh, contentious compliance. So pre-existing regulations matter because they shape, they shape the extent of the services that the firm can provide. And so by shaping the extent of the services, they also shape the, the extension of the ecosystem and so the source of their power. And contentious compliance refers to a strategy of adapting to existing regulations minimally while continuing to challenge those regulations, right? And so firms will adapt only as necessary as to be able to provide their service and start creating the ecosystem, mm -hmm. but they will also continue challenging those regulations because they want less regulations and they want to be able to grow faster and so create a stronger ecosystem. Um, I apply this framework to the emergence and expansion of Uber in, in New York, in Madrid, and in Berlin. And you can read more about the paper in the site of regulation and governance. Thank you.